Les from Retired and Living the Dream, and my review on the float house, the float house on the River Kwai. As you can see that behind me, this is where we were stayed for one night. And whilst we were in Camp Chanterbury, we stayed on three raft hotels. The first one was in Camp Chanterbury itself near the bridge over the River Kwai. And these two that we stayed at the jungle raft and this one here at the float house is about an hour away from Camp Chanterbury or bridge over the River Kwai. And I've done a video here on the stay at the jungle resort. So give this a watch, you'll be very, very surprised. It's beautiful. But now we're here, just look at the, the view behind us. This is the most expensive hotel I've ever stayed here in Thailand. Over 4,000 baht for one night. And my review of this place, is it worth it? See what you think. So to get this place, the River Kwai, the float house, you have to go on this, the long tail boat. And it, it's a brilliant little journey because as if we've never been on a long tail boat before until we came to Camp Chanterbury. And because we went to the two different hotels, we had two experiences with it. And it, it's lovely. It, it's a different feeling being in a long tail boat. And as you can see, we, we pulled up at the float house, the, the welcome that you get on the float house. This is sheer luxury. I've got to turn around and say, it is very stunningly beautiful, this place. But would we stay here again? I'll let you know towards the end of the video. So as you can see, we're going to do a, a walk through to the room that we, that we went to. And again, because we wanted to take full advantage of the time that we were here, we had to check out before 12 o'clock at the last place at the jungle raft. So we got here 12.30 and check-in was from two o'clock onwards. And because we got there at 12.30, people were still leaving the place. People stay at this place as long as they can because it's luxury, it's, it's a beautiful place to stay. So consequently our rooms weren't ready. So we sat in the foyer for half an hour and by one o'clock they had a room ready for us to go into. And again, the, look, look at the, the sheer elegance of the room that's inside. Some of the pictures I'm going to show you of the rooms inside, everything, robes, slippers, uh, Wi-Fi speakers, even a proper coffee machine to be able to make these capsule coffees, which were beautiful. So nothing had been left out of place, overlooking the River Kwai. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But the price of this place was over 4,000 baht per night. And we stayed there for one night. And once we got outside, of this beautiful 90 square meter apartment or room or villa, whichever you want to describe it. For me, it was bland. When we pulled up on the boat here, it was bland in comparison to the other place that we stayed at. I mean, look, this is the, the approach to the jungle raft on the long tail keyboard. Just look at the beautiful flower, everything. It gives you that feeling of, I want to stay here. And this, and this is the view of the long tail boat coming up to the float house. Bland. Compared to what it was like inside, in, if they'd have spent the money to make the outside look as beautiful as the inside, it would be a spectacular place. But that's my own opinion. Many people would probably differ with that, but that's the feeling that I got. It's called curb appeal, we call it in England. It's the view when you pull up to some place. It gets that welcome feeling straight away when you pull up to somewhere. And I've got to say the jungle raft had beautiful curb appeal in comparison to the curb appeal of the float house. Now the restaurant where we ate the food, again, the prices of the food in the float house weren't included in the price of the hotel stay like it was in the jungle raft. So we had to pay extra for the food. And I've got to say, the food prices, I mean, the quality of the food was beautiful. And it was reasonably priced. 180 baht for the meals that we had. 
I've done another video here about the River Kwai and I will stay here at the River Kwai. Again, a beautiful place to visit. So, my expectations of the float house, the most expensive hotel that we stayed in, it's sheer luxury, the Wi-Fi was great, multiple sockets, tea, coffee making facilities, robes, all the luxuries of a top class hotel. But for me, where people stay most of the time outside, it was very lacking, very bland. But I've done a, a drone video and a video of the place that we stayed with the float house. So enjoy the video.